Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Troy, back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Blenders sunglasses. Now I'm also gonna be using for um, cycling and whatnot. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up the box. You can see Blenders is a company from, let's see, get that to focus, from out of San Diego. So it's California based, you know, supporting the local stores and whatnot. All right, so let's get this open. Sorry, it's not the sexiest knife out there, but hey, it's gonna do. Pretty easy to open the box. Just one little tape on there. Uh, look like shipping. Wow. Uh, failed as far as ripping my box. Anyway, put this away. Okay, in the box, you have Blender's eyewear. This is the uh, polarized black and silver smoke sunglasses. So I'll take a look at that in a minute. Um, get the little invoice sheet sticker so you can return it if you want. Looks like these are all the products that come in the box when you order it. We got some, uh, I don't know, like a little booklet, maybe an About Me booklet. I don't know. Anyway, let's open up the glasses. And you know, I bought two pair of glasses and I think that this pair of glasses um, are the ones for me to just wear like out and about. I don't think these are the cycling shades that I bought, but we'll take a look anyway. Yes, I think these are just the regular ones. Yep, that's what I thought. So Blender's eyewear comes in this little bag. It's pretty cool, uh, like a little cloth bag. Dump that. But look at these shades, they're pretty nice. They're black and tinted. Or the smoke, smoke color, they say. And they have a uh, little rubber padding inside the nose here. So I hope you can see that. On the side, it has this little Blender's brand on it. Oh, let me see if I can get it to focus. It's kind of hard to see, but see in a light there. Come on. Anyway, you can kind of see it. It says blenders. And on the other side, same thing. It says blenders. I like these because it's kind of like a, you know, it's, it's a good fit for somebody with a round head like mine. <laughs> you know, some, some nice lightweight glasses. Uh, to be honest with you, they do feel kind of cheap though, but you, know, you can't beat the price. I think this was about 48 bucks or something like that on the website and also got a discount. Now let's open up the case. Even a nice lightweight blenders case. Oh snap. Okay, so here go the other sunglasses that I bought. These ones are the ones that I, I wanted to uh, show you. These are, let's take a look. Da -da -da -da. Oh, some nice little wraparound shades for cycling. This also too has like this smoke tint on it. It's actually, I think these are polarized, to be honest with you, I'm not sure. No, nah, they're probably just smoke tint. These are lightweight, has like a little rubber on the nose part. So that's probably more comfort. On the side, got the little blenders. Signature stripes, I guess, right there. And it has a blenders. If you can kind of see that right on the visor of these sunglasses. Kind of hard to see. Sorry about that, but there you go. And the same thing on the other side of the sunglasses. It has like the, their brand. These look pretty clean. They're lightweight. Um, they seem pretty official. I'm not going to do a a brake test, but they seem good and whatnot. I don't spend a lot of money on sunglasses anyway. I know sunglasses, they can be kind of expensive, you know, up to like $200 or more. You want to get some Oakleys or some 100%. Uh, let's check out what else is in the box. All right. Okay, how do you open this thing? Get me out of here. <laughs> ah, this plastic is, uh, needs to come off. Okay. 
I don't have nails, so just gotta pry this thing open. Let's take out what they got. So the blenders I wear, this a little booklet talking about some stuff. We got another little cloth eyeglass cleaner. We got some stickers, blenders I wear. You can put on your bike or I don't know. You got a surfboard or something like that. And this is another sticker, I think, too, for blenders I wear. So first impressions. Hmm. Like these glasses, I really like the, the style of these. Um, I like that they have this uh, this cutout so that, you know, if you got a big nose or whatnot, it can fit on the bridge of your nose. I like that it's wide enough for, like I said, my round head. Pretty wide. I don't know the dimensions. You can look on their website at blenderseyewear.com. I'll pull it up uh, B-roll here on the screen, but you'll see that they have all kinds of sunglasses, all kind of like even snow goggles and sunglasses for women. Uh, even shades like this, you just want to roll around in, roll around in. <laughs> just some shades like this, you just want to walk in the street or just driving. You know, something simple, nothing too expensive. But the main thing I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to be wearing these for when I cycle. Because I like to have different sunglasses when I cycle and then when I'm just, you know, on the street or driving. And so that's why I picked these up. And I, I didn't really hear about this sunglass place until like just recently I think like a week or two ago and I decided hey I'm going to buy them and I actually got a discount speaking of which if you use a discount in the link in the description below you can get like $20 off you know two pairs of sunglasses so I think it's worth it so a little bit about sunglasses I actually wrote a blog post about it if you haven't checked out the website go and check out partifycycling.com you're going to hear or see some more detailed information uh, as it relates to cycling and whatnot. But one of the things I try to look for, especially in sunglasses, features like UV protection. These, they, they say that they're 100% UV protection. I don't know, I'm gonna have to test that out and just see you know, how well that actually is true. But I'm not gonna be you know, staring in the sun and nothing stupid like that. But anyway, you get what I mean. You also want something that has like a close fit, you know, depending on your, your head shape. You want something that actually is gonna fit snugly around your head, but doesn't hurt your temples. You want something that's kind of vented properly. Uh, these sunglasses, uh, they don't have ventilation probably in the eyebrow area. I haven't tried them on yet, but you know, I think they might be at least vent through the nose area and maybe on the side, no, not so much. But anyway, you can catch my drift. Also, you want something, like I said, a wraparound design. That's what I like, something that kind of wraps around the side of your eyes so you're not catching a lot of wind and debris as you're riding and cycling. You want something that's grippy. Like I was saying, something on the nose like this, it's, uh, it's very grippy. It has like a rubber piece right here. I think it'd be good. Look, if you're looking for some sunglasses that are you know, cheaper than $100, $200, this is probably gonna be the way to go as well as um you know you want something that you ain't gonna worry about it breaking or them getting dirty and scratched up and they're not gonna cost you like an arm and a leg um, and if you want the higher end sunglasses like the 100 percent and the oakley you know go right ahead and get those you know i actually like those too i went to a demonstration at the amgen tour of california where they demonstrated the uh oakley sunglasses as far as their um, protectiveness of your eyes, the durability, you know, how they're good for performance and whatnot. And I think they're, I think they're really good sunglasses, but not everybody's willing to pay, you know, their price tag for Oakley sunglasses. Same thing with 100% sunglasses. They're, they're pretty high end too. They're really nice though. They kind of actually, these kind of actually look like the 100% to believe it or not. But, you know, it's up to you to judge and do what you want to do. But um, also on, on another end note, if you haven't, checked out the website and noticed that I have an email list, uh, I invite you to join the email list because I tell a little bit more stories about cycling and cycling news on there than I would in a YouTube video. And I think you might find it interesting. Some of the emails that might be entertaining, that might be informative, but I think you, you know, anybody will find something interesting in the emails that I send out, usually only monthly or sometimes bi-weekly. So yeah, go ahead and check it out. 
There'll be a link down in the description below or up on the screen somewhere. I also want to thank you for watching the video. So if you did like this and you'd like to see more reviews and stuff of things that I buy for cycling related stuff, you know, go ahead and give me a like on the video and go ahead and subscribe.